Kalista TV for the Don Orion Kaburugi Charity Race held on the 11th of November 2023, covering 53 kilometers, with the start being at Delview. The race promises to be exciting with only 500 meters of elevation. Set up to be a fast paced with a lot of attacks going in left, right, and center. This is also a precursor to the GNBR, a race that is scheduled on the 26th of November 2023 and a place gauge your level of fitness with the other cyclists before the GNBR race. And the race is flagged off and we are now in the neutral zone. And off we follow the cyclists on the neutral zone, a zone where all cyclists cycle together before the race officially starts. And there is already a crash just behind, still in the neutral zone, as a couple of cyclists hit the floor, they will wake up and continue with the rest of the cyclists for the remainder of the race. And making a comeback in the Kenya cycling scene is Liki, who's now at the front, enjoying camera time. And the pace at the front is a bit high as the cyclists warm up before a fast paced start once the traffic around the town clears. As we can see in the bunch, people are all smiles. We can see Samuel Kagiri smiling at the camera. Also Brian Thiru, as we are about to begin the race. And the race officially starts with a fast pace attack by Karanja of the Kenya Riders team as the rest follow him up to try and create a split in the big peloton that was at the start. And among the riders in the peloton is Shafiq. And another crash has just happened, bringing down James Juma hard. And here is a replay of the crash as our cameras captured it. Good. 
just after the crash has happened, we can see Peter Keji, who's now a favorite to win the veterans category, and the rest of the peloton who have escaped the crash with a high pace ride as Gene Newberry attacks and Percy Moas decides to follow him. And the two ride together away from the peloton for some time before being brought back by Cornelius Kemboi. And here we have Willy Wanjiru headed to the front to put the hammer down and pull the peloton. And another attack flies with Karanja this time heading solo before being joined by Samuel Kagiri who follows in hot pursuit. Behind them, Jean Newberry and Kemboy decide that they will not be left to proceed on their own as they follow in hot pursuit. After the attacks, the bunch comes up again together with each at the front looking around as to who will make the next move. The bunch comes again together before Kevin Karaoke decides enough is enough and decides to go solo at the front in a breakaway move anticipating probably to get to the gravel section alone. And it is now a fast-paced descent as the cyclists jostle up for positions 
as they anticipate to hit the three kilometer gravel section. Kagiri again decides to launch an attack in pursuit of Karaoke who earlier had soloed ahead and is leading on the gravel section. A mechanical for one of the Kenya riders team. To get to know the speed at which the cyclists are going up the climb, just listen to a motorbike as it tries to catch up with them. Cornelius Kemboy again attacks just at the junction of the tarmac and the gravel section as the Whittle Down group decide to follow. This attack is sustained as Kemboy now solos at the front and did proceed solo for the remainder of the race. And the Kenya Riders team now pursues Cornelius Kemboy with a four-man group with Shafiq, who later on emerged as the winner leading them before he too solos ahead in pursuit of Kemboy as Karanja, his teammate, decide to slow down to await their teammate Dan Kiptala. We now are up with the second peloton chasing down Cornelius Kemboy Shafiq and the two-man Kenya Riders team consisting of Karanja before the two pelotons merge and form one peloton for the rest of the race up until near the finish line. Le And lots of attacks still go on with this pursuers group that we are following in a bit to break it up as the cyclists jostle up for podium positions but the group continues to stay intact
now approach the U-turn and follow the group consisting of three Kenya riders, Pasimwas, Samuel Kagiri, and Jean Newberry. Since the group has stuck for a long time, we decide to follow up with the leader, who's Shafiq, of the Kenyan Riders, and who later on emerged as the winner of the race. Season 2024. Hello, I'm Kalisus. I'm the hippo rider. Today's cause was um, just good. Just to touch to somebody's heart. And uh, we were doing it for the kids, uh, especially for this foundation. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of people, they, they fear heavyweight, they fear to ride bicycles, and I will ask everybody who is over 100 kilos, 
step on your bike and start riding. It's a good thing. It's for your health, your fitness, and enjoyment. My name is Ingrid. I participated in the Vets Ladies category. There's only three of us, so then we're always guaranteed of the podium place. So really we need more Vet Ladies, so there's a bit more competition. The race was beautiful. It's absolutely lovely here. Uh, blue skies, no rain, so it was a wonderful day, but not flat, not flat. <laughs> we were promised flat, it was not flat, but it was awesome, awesome. Well done, well done. Thank you, Brother Dennis, and all right so we have the results we'll jump into it because of time um so you had different categories we had uh, women elite women we had uh, elite men veteran women so veteran women is anyone between 40 and 40 and above and then we had uh, the para categories, so uh, these are uh, people who have uh, different uh, impairments. We have the physical impairment, visual impairment, and uh, hearing impairment. So we are going to start uh, with the uh, para categories, so that is basically the impairment uh, categories. And we'll start with the physical. Uh, we'll start with the men. So we had, uh, we're going to award uh, number one and two. We usually award number one, two and three based on the turnout, but we only had two people coming out. So we start with a, uh, yes, physical uh, impairment. We we'll start with number two, with a time of one hour, 45 minutes, one second. Dedan Ireri from Mama Cycling Cycle. The winner of that category, we have uh, from Team Megalos, we have uh, Gabriel Ambuko. Time of one hour, 55, 50 seconds. Congratulations, Gabu. We usually call him Gabcholi. Visually impaired. So we did have uh, the women category in that. Uh, we don't have ladies in that category for this race. So let's jump to the visual, uh, visually impaired category. And uh, we'll start with number three, Anthony Mugwanja. Time of two hours, two minutes, 59 seconds. Congratulations, Anthony. Good job. Two, with a time of one hour, 54 minutes, and 42 seconds from Speed Kings, Kennedy Ogada. The ladies, we had one lady coming up. Time of two hours, 23 minutes, 29 seconds, Monica Omboy. Uh, men's category. So we have number two. Ezekiel Wairiara, two hours, 37 minutes. And the winner of that category, the table, one hour, 48 minutes, 42 seconds, Simon Jorogi. Have a photo of that. Doing six kilometers, and we did that in a time of two hours, 43 minutes, 29 seconds. Sorry, sorry. Um, so you can uh, you can just uh, where is it? Peter Maritim, Peter Maritim. So Peter Maritim won the wheelchair category. All the way from Kenya, Sakon, Ajalala, the travel is big. The travel is big. So we'll jump into it. We'll start with the ladies. Uh, we'll start with the veteran uh, women. And at number three, we had uh, Joy Koinange. Two hours, 49 minutes, and six. Oh! And number two, 
And that was the Don Orion Kaburugi Charity Road Race held in Moranga County in Kenya. 